Yo, 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 guys. How you doing today? I'm doing well. We are back in my survival world. And last episode, we built our Enderman farm. And it works pretty well. I made a few slight changes with the water on top. But it's amazing. It works perfectly. We're at level 89. And for today's episode... We're going to be starting a huge underground village. We have live villagers. I'm going to have it. I'm going to like try to make the theme a mineshaft theme if that makes any sense. Y'all will see how it looks like when I'm done. And for that, instead of mining it out, because I want this thing to be absolutely huge. Excuse me. I decide we're going to TNT blast it. So right before the episode, I grabbed all the gunpowder we have in the world and sand. And now we gotta go craft it all up to make some fresh TNT. We got a creeper creeping over there. Ah, he forgot about me. So I'll go craft the TNT and we'll make our way back. We got about one and a half stacks of TNT. Should be a good amount. And now we just have to grab our flint and steel. And actually, you know what? I'm going to take my shovel too while we're here. Because I feel like there's going to be gravel or dirt we might have to mine out. And we'll see how much we can get done today. And work off that from now on. Alright, so bottom line. If you guys watched my world tour... And he's not coming after me. All right. This was a wall. And I decided I was like, you know what? Where's a cool place we could put a village? And I was like, you know, what? let's build it over here. Build it down here. And we also have a little three by three door to make sure no mobs get in. So it's like a little bit of a secret. I have a button to open it. And right over here is where we're going to start it. So we're going to have it go 20, uh, 20 blocks wide like this. We can't build right here because this is the redstone for the uh, door. But we'll start on this end and then branch out because that's the one thing I don't want to break. And we're not even going to put torches down. Uh, I don't know how far down we even want to go with it anyway. So like one, two. We'll try 50 blocks. So I'll mine it down. I decided to do 30 first because we don't have that much TNT to begin with. I figure we might as well use as much as we can now. And expand it once we're ready. So we'll just like do this. And that will activate the first. That was a bad idea run. I did the first one closest to me. That did a decent amount already. So we'll just go through here and just place some TNT in the wall and blow this up as fast as we can. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh. Yeah, this is doing a lot of damage already. So we'll have to like just take out the first wall. This is going to be a huge village. And what I plan on doing with the village is actually like having a section where villagers will like breed and... I'll be able to grow them up, give them jobs, and we could choose our enchantments from them. So, that'll be pretty cool once we get that all set up and done. We got a decent amount done already, and we're going to have to go down. Like, I want it to be bridges that connect everything, if that makes sense. And houses, and then like stairs going down to farms. Like, I want this to be a huge, cool village. So, not sure how long it's actually going to take. And there's going to be a lot of TNT blowing up for the most part. So we could like, save time. We already used almost half a stack of TNT and this is all we got done so far. So it's actually it's pretty efficient. We just got to keep going with it. Alright, so now that like the first layer has pretty much been completed... And it goes all the way out to here. I think we'll double the distance. So it'll be another block. 
another 30 blocks out. I feel like that would be nice. Um, is this... What is this? Oh, a golden apple. I don't remember seeing this. Alright, so we got all that stuff. And you know what? We'll actually use this chest. We'll just throw that. We'll store everything in this chest for now. I feel like that would be a pretty a good idea. This is our last 35 of TNT. Let's hope that it does enough so we won't have to farm some more. We're obviously going to need more. We have to drop all the way down, but... There we go. So we'll go out another 30 blocks out and start blowing the second section out. We're down to our last 7 TNT, and I feel like before we run out, I'll do like a grand finale. You know, sort of just like blowing it all up at once. Even even though it's not going to look like anything, it's, I've done like 7 TNT on average, but we'll try to make this one look cool. And do the most damage. I'll be like one, two, three, and then we'll go two blocks in like this, and then one, two, three, and then we'll do one like that. And hope. Well, they're both gonna blow up now. We'll just throw torches down just so we can see. I feel like that'll be actually a the perfect distance because I want this to be a huge village, but not too wide. If that makes sense. I want to have like one main pathway going down. Y'all will see it whenever I get to that. So now what I got to do is go AFK farm some TNT, not TNT, gunpowder. Hopefully we can get another stack and finish at least the floor area before we start blowing up the ground and after a lot of afking and just like harvesting all our resources we got more wood i think i stored in the other chests this clown we got another stack and a half of tnt and i think we're gonna blow this all up at one time End this off with a bang for now. I didn't realize how much TNT it would actually use. We're about to be like Biden in the Middle East, if you know what I'm saying. Alright, so we'll do this. Just place it all around. I'll probably have this go all the way down to bedrock eventually too, because it's only like 30 blocks down and I want this to be like a floating ravine. Almost. I'm just not going to do it that much towards the front because I don't want to blow up the actual base. But back here, we should be fine. And we got one more left. This will be our ignition. We'll do it right... We'll put it right there, and... We'll start it right here. There's, this will be a huge chain reaction. We got to run and hide. going to blow this up. Oh my gosh. That did a lot of damage. Oh my gosh. Didn't blow up all this though. Alright, so we still got another stack to go through. I'll mostly place it all like around here and then try to shave it down a little bit and make it look nice. Alright, so we got all the 64 TNT down. Um I don't think this is too close to the base, but we'll light it right here. So I'll push out that way. Oh god. Now we'll light the whole place up. And I think we'll mark it here for this project. This is something I want to work on over time. Slowly putting it together. Oh, we still got another piece. Do that. We have no more gunpowder in the world either, so 
I'm gonna have to be AFKing at my mob farm a little more. We found some gold. We have another one, two, a few missing pieces. Well, I think this is a good starting point for now. We used a lot of TNT and we're gonna need a lot more if we wanna make any big progress on this. So we'll continue this in the future as we collect more or more. Maybe I'll go creeper hunting at night and stuff. So moving on, I want to show you guys a few things I've been working on lately. Since I've been like AFK and getting the gunpowder, I've been working on some other cool projects. And I got something cool at the village I'll show you guys. I'll get it right over there. And in case you didn't know, I think I forgot to even put this in the world tour so none of you guys would know. Right over here, oh, our render distance is down. Just change this. If you go over here, we don't die by the pearls. There's a village, and I've been camping out here trying to get a few enchantments. Which I did eventually get. It took me about a few days of just like non-stop placing and breaking blocks. I'll show the most the one I'm most proud of first. I think it's right over here. Right over here. We have a villager locked up. And look at him. What? Why does he have Curse of Vanishing? I swear this was the guy. And he had Mending. What? Oh my gosh. I closed it up when I found out he had Mending. I built up and then like blocked it all off. Why does he have... Why does this thing have Curse of Vanishing now? I don't get it. That's weird. Oh, that's that's actually so depressing. I literally got it yesterday. I was so proud about it. Yeah, this one's got infinity. This guy worked. He has... But apparently the one that has mending, the one I need the most. It was for 20 emeralds too. I remember how much it was for. Wait, is the price still the same? No, it's like not even that. Yeah, it was for 20 emeralds, I'm pretty sure. And now he's gone. Man, they got a little greedy on us. Let's see this. No. I think we have another one down here. No. I know we have one more hidden around here. With a pretty good enchantment. I forgot what it was, though. Oh, that just ruined my vibe. Oh, wow. Maybe there was only two guys. I don't really remember too much. Did the dog just burn here? Anyways, if I find the other thing, I'm pretty sure there's another villager. I blocked off two doorways. If I find it, we'll show you guys. If not, we'll get rid of it and move on. Anyways, I couldn't find it. We'll make our way back to the base and finish up the video when we get back. Anyways, that'll be a wrap for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. We got a lot done. We're starting this huge new villager project that I'm really excited for. And it'll be, I think it'll be really cool once it's all done. This is just like the first stage. Got a, a demo all of this. So in the meantime, I'll be farming up some more TNT. We're doing some more work on it, cleaning it up. In case you guys were wondering but besides that um yeah we lost our mending enchantment that i got i swear i even took a picture of it too if i did i'm gonna put it i'm gonna put it up because i feel like a fraud right now <laughs> anyways with that out of the way hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time peace out